Hey everybody, uh, this video is not going to be a picking video. This is going to be a video on how to reassemble an American 700 series padlock. Uh, your Master Lock Pro Series padlocks will be similar to this, as well as American clones. Uh, we've already got our cylinder assembled here. If you need help assembling a cylinder, video 140 shows that, and I'll link to it on screen. And we want to make sure we have all of our pieces here. Um, we've got our bottom plate, bottom plate retainer nut, bottom plate retainer screw, shackle retaining screw, shackle spring, two ball bearings that hold the shackle in, our actuator. Uh, this one happens to be key retaining. If yours isn't key retaining, it'll be a little half. It'll be like a quarter moon instead of a half moon. And then we have our shackle and, of course, our lock body. Now, what we're going to do here uh, first is actually get the shackle in. Now, there's two holes on top. One side's got a hole actually in it, the other side does not. So our spring goes in the side without the hole. Long side of the shackle goes uh, on the side of the spring. You want to push it all the way down where it's kind of in like what would be the locked position. And you want to be careful don't let go, it'll, you know, the spring loader will shoot out of there. Now you've got a retainer screw. Um, if you're using this lock for anything besides goofing around, you might want to put some uh, Loctite on the threads. And then I just put that in. Mine happens to be an eighth inch drive. I think it's probably most of them probably are. The American locks anyway. And you just want to snug that in. And now your shackle will pop out, but it's actually locked into the body, which is what you want. Now, the next thing we need to do is get our ball bearings in. Now there's actually a hole on the right, and there's a hole on the left that the ball bearings actually need to drop into for our actuator to go in, which, see that, there's the one hole, and the hole on the right, and um, one trick for this, um, you don't have to do this, but it can make it easier, is uh, there's a hole on top, that's where the ball, this is where one of the ball bearings actually goes, it locks into this notch on the shackle, which keeps it locked. And uh, what you can do is you can actually take a magnet, put the magnet over that hole, and then you drop your ball bearing in, get into the hole, it'll actually grab onto that magnet, and it'll stay in its hole. And then you can drop the other one in the other side. Okay, and then if you actually turn the shackle like this, and knock the camera over. just adds a degree of difficulty to this. It's just, it's not really there when you're doing this without a camera. Okay. So, we need that ball bearing to go in its hole. Now, when the shackle is in this position here, that allows the second ball bearing to drop all the way into its hole. And now, now we're going to drop our actuator in. This side goes down. I don't know what the half moon side. It's going to be the bottom of the lock. But okay, we're going to drop it in. Now it needs to go far enough in where the where the cylinder can drop down far enough where the bottom plate will fit out, which is obviously not there. So we can take a flat head. You can wiggle it around until it drops all the way in. Now we're just going to get our magnet out of the way here. And then you'll notice here that that's a half moon on the actuator and a half moon on our on our cylinder here. Now the cylinder actually is going to be fitting in this direction like so. So the, this needs to sit next to that, you know, completing the, you know, full circle. So do we can put this in the locked position. You can actually take a flathead and you can turn the actuator. Now this is key retaining, so the key is not going to come out in the locked position on this lock. So you want to just turn the cylinder as close as you think you can to where you think it would be in the right position for this to go in at a you know, it goes in at a slight angle like this, where it goes in far enough to where the bottom plate will actually fit over. See, so there's actually a hole right there, a tab, where that actually locks in. Now, if it doesn't lock right in like that, if you don't get it right, you can take the key and you can actually turn it around a little bit and move it until it drops in. Now, I just need to get the lock unlocked, so I'm holding the bottom plate on, unlock it, and I just leave the key in. It doesn't really matter if it's not key retained. You don't really have to do that particular step. Our nut in there. And our screw, and I'm just going to try to get it in the hole. 
and tighten it down. And like I said in other videos, you don't want to uh, tighten these too much because you can actually shear the screw off. So just snug it in there. Now when we lock it back, turn it, our key should come out. And test it here. And it works perfectly. So there's a uh, quick video on uh, just reassembling a 700 series American padlock. Thanks for watching, and I uh, will talk to everybody later.